the G.I. Joe Headquarters Command Center. Yeah, the original command center, which has been redone a few times. Has I know they, it? They did redid it with Street Fighter, they redid it with um, with Action Man. You know, it's been done a couple of times. They recast the same mold. You oh, know the, you know that uh the old trick. Yeah. All toy companies do that. Yeah. But this is the original headquarters. Got this from South Carolina Comic Con. It's not a comic book, but no. that's okay. And the box is a little rough, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't care. No. I, it, it's already been opened, mm -hmm. and my intention is, uh, and that shows you a picture of what the it's back supposed of it. to look yeah. like. Lift it up because it's a glare. Okay. Yeah, like right there. To show you what you can do with it. And this is like the classic set because. It associates people back to the early days of G.I. Joe when they still had a military feel before they got really weird. Um, and a lot of people attribute that to why they hate the figure of sci-fi, which is this one. They say they hate sci-fi Why? because this is the beginning of the weirdness of G.I. Joe, a raw to a lot of collectors oh. where they started making some bizarre looking figures mm. instead of military stylized figures yeah because these are lime green yeah and that's this is i think this is what most people think when they think of raw and they look back and they remember the show or the comic mm -hmm. but people have been asking they were like hey when are you going to put this together <laughs> so yeah i'm going to put it together uh oh and it's a good way to f make sure that everything's in here I mean, we looked at it at the show, and it seems like everything's in there, but you never know. Mm -hmm. And there's no instructions. No blueprints? No, I don't have the blueprints. Did it come with blueprints? Yeah, of course. Everything G.I. Joe came with blueprints. So I'm going to try to put this together, and then I'll figure out what to do with the box. <laughs> Let's the box see. has to be displayed. Yeah, I know. The, the box art on, on everything Hasbro G.I. Joe was always good. They're slipping, though. Uh, with that modern stuff? Yeah. Mm. I mean, they still give you a little homage to how they used to do it. Like, if you look at the cover of the classifieds, they put, like, a... Uh, see... There's I look a, like a modern guy. There's an image on the front and some image on the side there. Image and, on uh, the back. Yeah, some art on the back. Most of the art is on the back here. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, people are going to compare that to when everything G.I. Joe boxed looked like this. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a huge difference and that's some great artwork. Yeah, it is. That's the one thing. I don't collect G.I. Joe's. But I do like the card art, and I try to encourage David to get, um, especially vehicles and stuff that have big boxes, because yeah. I like looking at the the, card the box art. art. Yeah. And I bought him a few. And oh like no, that got a super also. glare. You got to come this way, cause that got oh. a. Uh, it's still a super glare, but it's better. Okay. You yeah. see it now? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's a big difference. I mean, the art was very prominent, and it's supposed to draw your eye, and you know, tell the the kid, I guess, purchasing this, something about the character yeah. makes him look dynamic and interesting. And Toy companies nowadays have moved away from that quite a bit. Yeah, they have, and they don't put a lot of effort or, or money or anything into card art. They just make a box and just kind of hand it out. And as you can see, if you look down here, um, art on that stuff with G.I. Joe has always been... Like and this is a, a 60s? Uh, this is from the 70s. Oh, this 70s. one mm -hmm. is a tradition. Mm -hmm. And if you look up here, those are from the 60s on this row. Those are from the uh, from the 60s. So it's always been a tradition with Hasbro. And toy companies in general during the uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s with action figures. There was always good art or decent photographs on everything. Mm -hmm. And they've moved away from that. I know, this turned into a whole different discussion. I know. <laughs> People <laughs> supposed to be putting that thing together. Yeah, if I can. 
I think I'm gonna have to back up some. Oh yeah. Just give me a minute. Let me back my chair up. Mm -hmm. So I can get you in the full shot. Okay, now I got you. See, baby, squatting down like some little kid with a new toy. Yeah, I know, huh? I had to probably turn this around so I can use it as a guide. Mm. Well, the thing came with instructions to tell you what to do. Yeah, I know it. Uh oh, look at that. Something Ooh. fell off. Loose sticker floating uh -oh. around. You see how they did with the flag, too? It's like one side is the American flag. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side is the G.I. Joe flag. <laughs> oh, you don't get two flags. <laughs> Wouldn't one. it have been better? Because you know most federal and military buildings, they got like your unit flag, um, yeah. the, the, the American flag, and maybe the base flag or something like that. Yeah, well... figure this out of oh, what's uh, what's what here enter here so this is going to be the right side right side left side and this is going to go in the middle right is it mm -hmm. this goes in the middle that. All right, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Minor. Let me move this. Accomplishment here. And then this step. That goes here, and I guess this is a storage bin. Yeah, you can put your GI Joe figures there. Yeah, in the storage. Yeah. <laughs> the extra figures you have, you uh -huh. can put it there. And I guess these are for the chairs. Okay, a couple of chairs. Can you even see what I'm doing? I probably need to move <laughs> around. <laughs> People are uh, like, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Uh, supposed to be the video guy. Okay. I like how there's beds. Oh, well, yeah, the beds I see are, where The beds is. are in the cell block, though. <laughs> That's not very fair, is it? Well, the prisoner's got to sleep. Mm -hmm. And there's the door to the jail. That goes right there. Oops. Alright, that goes on the top of this. I'm figuring it out. Oh. That goes on the top of the jail cell door and fits into here. something else clips on the back of this I guess it's the cell I guess it kind of holds itself together once you put the pieces together is that the idea yeah if I'm even facing this the right way oh there's a loose bar then this is why kids invite their friends over when they get stuff so they can help them put it together. Yeah. Because there's always that one kid that knows exactly how to put it together. Yeah. Or you ask your parents. No, then it'll get broke. Oh, you think your parents will break it? Yeah, because they'll be all frustrated. I don't know this stupid thing. And then they'll break it by accident. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'll say it's an accident. Oh. Oh, Pull no. your okie doke on the kid. Oh, that's awful. Well, it doesn't like hold together very well. I think this could be easily broken out of. So I have to leave that cell door open for now. <laughs> it's not snapped together. Yeah, it's uh, it keeps uh, coming out, and the tabs are intact. It's not like they're broken. Mm. They're not broken. It's just the way it fits. You got it turned the right way. Yeah, it's turned the right way because the the seals. The seams are lining up. Yeah. And that's the that radar dish goes right there. We're getting there. Mm-hmm. Slowly but We're surely. We're getting there. Alright, that's in that's in place. 
Oh, that opens up too. There's a panel on here that opens up. Now, do the G.I. Joe figures fit in here? Yes. Is that the point? The three and three quarter inch figures should all fit in this. Yeah. Got the hella pad that go to the side. Yep. Now, this probably goes right here. Right? Mm -hmm. look like it. Yeah, it does. Oh. <laughs> then you got some steps. You're trying to confuse me. Hmm. And which one is this? Is this the left or the right side? Okay. That goes there. Everybody gets to watch me fumble through this here. Better you fumbling than them. Yeah, well. <laughs> Now, those little side pieces don't snap on to the middle piece? Hold on, because it came off the track. Oh. There we go. So that snaps together? Yeah, and then this goes inside here. And there go the stairs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all that stuff, and that goes in that groove. All right. And... There's your flag. You've got to have your flag up. Shouldn't the flag be outside? No, well, in here it's behind the turret. Oops. See, because you got this uh, this gun, mm -hmm. which I don't know how the guy shoots it, because he's like laying down in there and there's no handles. But this goes right here. Okay. Okay. And that is this the right way? Just like that. We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out, guys. Mm -hmm. Spotlight. You got two. Yeah, because one, one on goes on the corner. opposite side. Okay, so that's two spotlights. Surveillance camera. Goes right in here. It's supposed to go right there. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to go. That'll do. <laughs> Close enough. Mm -hmm. Or actually, that's where this is supposed to go. I think these are supposed to fit between between these bars. See, there's the one machine gun, another machine gun, because they got people up on here, and I guess they're standing. Yeah, he's standing on this like it's a ladder. The Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. And this, there's a couple of cameras. But this one doesn't want to fit into any of these camera grooves. You got to work with it. <laughs> I don't want to work with it too much because it's going to split. Oh. You know, I'll just leave it there for now. All right, we're, we're almost done. So what am I missing here? The side panels. This one probably goes right here. I must say that this is surprisingly very flimsy. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I see an issue. Like the the one you have, that that one that you got lifted up, it has those grooves that kind of lock in it. Yeah, I just know. Pull it back. That's what oh, I'm trying okay. to do. Yeah, I'm oh. trying to get it. I'm trying to get it lined up in there. Mhm. Mm and in here at the same time. Oh. Because that one comes forward, and then this one comes forward, or comes sideways, mm -hmm. and then it's supposed to fit inside this piece. Okay. 
There we go. We got a snap. All right, it's in there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, granted, I never play with any of these play sets, but I would, I guess I just thought they were a little more sturdy. But watching it now, they look pretty flimsy. Yeah, and a lot of them are, like you remember, uh, the mobile command center when we uh, when we put this together I mean if I even pick this up the wheels are all gonna fall off and it's like brand new condition it seemed like because in the 80s kids played and you know kids are rough um, that they would try and make it a little more sturdy so it'll last yeah like a between a five and I guess ten year old playing with it Yeah, and um, you can see where a kid could bust this up pretty good. Yeah, just putting it together because it's kind of kind of flimsy. But once it's together, it looks good. Yeah. Once you put it together, and I guess, well, no, I was gonna say I guess that was the idea, but it's not because um they knew back then kids played with these toys. That what goes in there. Mm-hmm know what this back hole is for maybe for the other uh, flagpole there's nothing on the picture yeah there's nothing there at all mm -hmm. and this cage really doesn't want to hold together it's just sliding all over the place my light fell off everything fell off yeah no come on guys how am I gonna defend the base if everything falls. Uh, what about these panels? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see where that one goes. See on the side? Yeah. Right there. And it should be two opposite. Like, all right, this one goes here. And then that one goes here, I guess. And this kind of really doesn't lock into anything unless I'm on the wrong side. It goes under there, but it doesn't lock in. Oh, you just kind of got to prop it up. Yeah, we're almost there. Mm -hmm. Getting some rest. This one, I guess, goes here on that side of the bay, right? Yeah. And then this piece down there, and those are doors. Mm -hmm. And where's this go? Oh, over this, it's like an. A, Oh yeah, a little air grate. conditioning unit there. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, air or something. Yeah, a little grate. So that goes there. A second bin. The first bin is in here. Oh, I guess this is so you can store all sorts of supplies. Dead so bodies a, can go in there. There's a bin in here, and a second bin, and then put the panel, and that's where you can. Hide you got all, one more panel. Hide all the cobras that you've killed. And yeah, all the ones that died escaping from the prison. And this panel goes right here. Maybe. Come on. Okay. And I can put the light and the gun back. Light. Gun. I don't know. Where Where's this, the camera? Where this fell off of. Right here. Because mm, yeah. it won't, yeah. And it's got a little crack in it too, so I don't want to screw with it too much. I don't know if you can see that white line. Hold on. Okay, back, back up a hair. Uh, it ain't focusing. But yeah, we believe it. Okay. <laughs> and I guess this is supposed to go on the front underneath the turret but I can I can stick that back on and the helicopter pad really just kinda kinda sits, sits on the side that's how it it's is not in the actually picture. attached to anything yeah and this hopefully I don't know how deep it is I can measure it 
should fit on the shelf. And if it doesn't, I've got an issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or it's going to hang over. I don't, if it does, I don't want it to hang over too much. Well, as long as more than half is on the shelf. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a problem. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's like... I think that's all in about 20 inches. And this is the shelf he wants to put it yeah, on. Yeah, it ain't going up there. No. I, I've got a problem. He got to put it on the floor. That's uh, about 13 inches. Mm. So, in order to work it into the shelf, that means that um, I would have to relocate the battle wagon. Yeah, See, and then I put can, two of those green things yeah, together. I can do this. Yeah and get it right there mm -hmm. but uh, that means I've got to displace my battle wagon you can, and, uh, and yeah. this is not easy to display because <laughs> it's so big yeah but I guess we'll uh, we'll go ahead and cut away or maybe you want to walk around the front of this or if you wanted to take a look around it real quick but uh, I'll wait until you um, put it wait. up okay yeah. so um, I'll try to get it set up and then we'll come back to it and see how that comes out. Okay, and we're back and David has his um, center put together. What do you think about it? Well, I like it. There's some points about it. I, I would think as far as playability, mm -hmm. you know, if you were a kid, this would be really cool to have mm -hmm. to give them a base to give them a headquarters to play with it's nice to to have that option um play value i'm kind of half and half with it because even though you have the base and you have all this equipment you get the little stockade the computer center and all this other stuff because of the way it's constructed mm -hmm. it, it comes apart easy so if I were to bump this, all the little the lights and the guns and the cameras and everything that are sitting on top of there, they fall off, <laughs> or the the cage falls apart. It it crumbles, and I as a kid I think that would be really frustrating, to to have things fallen, and then there's no foot pegs, because, you know a lot of Hasbro vehicles and stuff or whatever they have foot pegs for the figures to stand on, there's no foot pegs in there, mm -hmm. so those figures are just kind of propped. And if you didn't have stands for them, which at this point, they, they weren't producing figure stands and you didn't start getting them until the first action accessory pack was released, which is this. You see there's two stands in there. Mm -hmm. And that's where they first started coming from was the uh, Battle Gear accessory packs. And there's only two. Mm -hmm. There's only two in there. So... At that time, you weren't getting stands, and that's just kind of frustrating to have everybody. Because you know, if one falls, they're all going down. Yeah, it's domino. gonna be like it's gonna be like dominoes. Mm -hmm. And to me, this feels a little busy, a little cluttered. Yeah. But you know, I still, I still like having it. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't put the helicopter pad out. No, because there's no space. There's, there's no space. But I still like having it. It's a classic piece. And again, even though there's some quirks with it where it might have been constructed a little better, you still, as a kid, you would have a great option with this as far as uh, as playing with it. And it still displays well. I just got to figure out what to do with the box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put the box now. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I don't know. I guess that's about it for now. Okay. So I guess we'll talk to you later. Yep, I'll be here.